Hey everyone, today I'm back doing another video. This video is going to be all about my third tattoo. Now, if you have not seen my previous video, that video was actually me getting my third tattoo done, and then this video is going to be a little bit more in depth about my third tattoo, uh, basically telling you the whole process of getting it done, how long it took, um, did it hurt? What did it feel like? The healing process, all that sort of stuff. I have done videos like this on my two other tattoos, which are a lot older because those tattoos I got done when I was 18 and 19. So that was about four years ago. So I can't promise that the quality on those videos are gonna be like fantastic. But if you do wanna see those videos all about my other tattoos, um, I can link those down in the description box. So you can go ahead and check that out. And I will also link down um, there the video of me getting my third tattoo done just in case you have not seen that but yeah that's basically it so I'm just gonna jump right on in to this video so if you would like to hear all about my third tattoo then just keep on watching all right so first I'm gonna start out this video by showing you my tattoo um, my third tattoo is up here as you can see I call it the shoulder area I don't really know what else you would call it but it's just running along uh, right here. I know it's a little hard uh, to read probably from this far away. I can go ahead and get a little closer, but I did post a picture of this on my Instagram. So if you are not following me on Instagram, please make sure to do so. Um, I have my Instagram and also my other social media accounts linked in the description box under all of my videos. So if you do follow me on Instagram and you did see my posting for this tattoo, then you already know uh, the meaning behind this tattoo and basically why I got this tattoo. Um, I'll just kind of give a little summary um, in this video, but if you want to read that whole post um, or see the picture and all that good stuff, check out my Instagram. But I basically got this tattoo for my dad who unfortunately passed away um, about a month ago. And the sleep still part um, is uh, significant to me because that was just one of the things that me and my dad uh, said to each other before we went to bed. Um, like he would say to me, sleep still, and I would say, I will. And I decided, we said other things to each other before we went to bed as well, uh, which I did put in my Instagram posting. But anyways, and I decided on the sleep still because to me, um, obviously with my dad's passing, it has a whole new meaning to me. Um, usually my dad was the one that would always say to me, sleep still. And because of my dad's passing and, you know, he's no longer in pain and he can finally rest in peace, um, I just felt it as away like now I can say to him sleep still. I hope that makes sense. I feel like if you read the Instagram post it makes a lot more sense. But yeah that's basically the meaning behind this tattoo and the tattoo is in my dad's handwriting um, which thankfully uh, we found a notebook with a bunch of my dad's handwriting in it so I was able to uh, use that notebook and trace um, uh, these letters to get the tattoo in my dad's handwriting, which was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I was freaking out that it wasn't going to look like his handwriting, and I was asking everyone, like my mom and my sister, I was like, okay, like if I didn't tell you I traced this, does it look like dad wrote this? And they said yes, and now that it's like actually like tattooed, um, I think it really does look like he wrote it. My sister also got a tattoo, um, in remembrance of my dad and he actually wrote out uh, the words that she got tattooed. Um, I don't think she's posted a picture of it. Um, I remember she told me that was just her personal choice. She didn't want to post a picture of it but um, yeah so when he was alive he was actually able to write out what she got tattooed on her which unfortunately I didn't do that uh, because the original plan was what my dad wrote out for Bree's tattoo. I was going to get the same exact tattoo um, but after my dad's passing and just the more I thought about it, uh, what Brie got tattooed, um, like it totally made sense. Like I think if I did get that, I would still love it. But I just thought the more, I don't know, the more I thought about it, I wanted to get something like this, the sleep still. Because just for me, that made a little bit more sense than what Brie got tattooed. So yeah. Unfortunately, he didn't actually write this out himself, but I was able to uh, use his handwriting samples and trace it, and I think it turned out really good. All right, so that is the tattoo, the meaning behind it, and all that sort of stuff. So now let's go ahead and get into the common questions that everyone wants to know when it comes to tattoos. Uh, so the first question that I have is, how long did the tattoo take? Um, I'm pretty sure it took about 10 to 15 minutes. It might have been even shorter than that, uh, because I kind of forgot to look at the clock like right when he started tattooing. Um, so in the 10-15 minutes that could have been 
um, you know, when he was putting like the stencil on and everything like that. But yeah, it did not take very long at all. All right, the next couple of questions are, what did it feel like and did the tattoo hurt? Um, in this part, um, some of the parts, kind of similar to the other tattoos that I have gotten, um, some parts I didn't feel anything. Uh, me personally, some, I don't know why with my tattoos, there's just certain parts um, like where I just don't feel anything. It's almost like numbing, like it doesn't hurt. And I just, I don't know, I don't feel anything. So I definitely experienced that with this tattoo. And then the other parts that I could feel, um, I, I would say it felt like a bee sting. I feel like that's a very common, um, you know, description that people use when describing like what tattoos feel like. With my other tattoos, I, I don't know if I would necessarily describe it as a bee sting. It was more of just like a sting or like a different kind of descriptor that I would use. But um, yeah, this one I would definitely say felt like a bee sting, but it was definitely tolerable. Like there was never a point where I was kind of like tensing up or I was like grimacing. Uh, it was totally tolerable in my opinion. So yeah, using a scale one to 10 for pain, one being no pain, 10 being the worst pain you ever felt, I would probably give it like a two or three. And that would be those spots that like really felt like a bee sting. I would give it like a two or three. So completely tolerable. Uh, next question, what was the healing process like for this tattoo? Um, compared to the other tattoos that I have gotten, the healing process for this tattoo is definitely different. Uh, with my other tattoos, I obviously did like the A and D ointment, but for this tattoo, which I think a lot of tattoo shops or artists have switched um, to kind of to this new way of healing tattoos, and that was um, the Tegaderm on top of the tattoo. And the Tegaderm basically, um, I guess it's, you could say it makes things a little bit easier because you don't have to apply the ointment yourself. You just have the Tegaderm on the tattoo. Uh, my artist told me leave it on for five days take it off and then go directly to lotion so yeah that's what I did with this tattoo and in the beginning of that I because it was so new to me like I said with the other tattoos I just did like the A and D ointment myself and all that sort of stuff so I wasn't used to the Tegaderm um, I didn't really fully understand it. I really kind of just wanted to like take it off and just do the A&D ointment myself. But um, I ended up keeping it on for the full five days. And then, yeah, I took it off and I switched directly to lotion. I will be honest, I was not the best at putting like lotion on um, after the Tegaderm came off. And I blame that slightly on it um, because I was having the Tegaderm on it. I just wasn't used to like caring for a tattoo, you know, compared to not having the Tegaderm and you have to do the A&D a and D ointment like two to three times a day. Um, so I just, I don't know, I almost like forgot about the healing tattoo that I had. So I wasn't the best at putting lotion on after the Tegaderm came off. I was doing pretty good for probably uh, four or five days I was putting lotion on it, uh, but then I kind of just like fell off of it. But I think it turned out pretty good. I haven't had any issues with it. All right, and then the last question is, what were my feelings before, during, and after my tattoo? Um, before my tattoo, I, I was nervous. I wasn't like completely nervous, not compared to like my first tattoo, but I was nervous to get it just because it has been, I think like four or five years since I had, I got my previous tattoo. So I honestly completely forgot um, what tattoos felt like. So I was a little bit nervous, but because of how small it is, I knew it wasn't going to take that long. So even if it was like excruciating pain, I knew like it would be over, it would be over before I knew it. And then during the tattoo, I just felt completely fine. Like I said, um, other than the feeling of a bee sting in a few spots, um, it really wasn't that bad and it didn't take very long. And then after the tattoo, I just felt so just happy and just at peace in a way. I don't really know how else to describe it. Just, and it was kind of emotional process. I didn't like cry or anything like that, but um, it was emotional obviously because it is for my dad and my dad passing away, you know, it was just a lot of different emotions and I was just so happy with how the tattoo came out and I was, I was really at peace and happy about my decision to go with this tattoo. So yeah, afterwards I was just completely happy with the whole thing and I'm so happy that I did it. And, and I am really happy with the placement of the tattoo. Um, I mean, I haven't really thought of getting the tattoo in any other spot. Like this was always the spot that I kind of wanted to get it, but I was still kind of unsure. I was like, oh, is that gonna look good on me? Um, but yeah, I am very happy with the placement of it. And I just think it's like cute and dainty and 
I don't know, like people can see it and I don't know, I just really like it. So yeah, that's everything about my third tattoo, the tattoo for my dad. Uh, plans for future tattoos, which is usually the question that I like to answer um, in these like in-depth tattoo videos. Um, I don't really have anything planned. Um, I basically just keep saying like if I am gonna get any more tattoos I really want to get Disney tattoos uh, because if you are not aware <laughs> I am a huge Disney fan and I would just love to fill like my whole body up with Disney tattoos I don't think that would be realistic for me personally but um yeah there's really no plans for future tattoos alright everyone so that is it for this video all about my third tattoo the tattoo in remembrance of my dad I really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it. And again, please make sure to check down in the description box for all of the tattoo related videos and make sure to check out some of my social media accounts if you're not already following me. All of that will be in the description box down below. And yeah, that is all that I have for you for this video. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.